Hi friends, this is Bilal Hader and this is my 28th video lecture on expert advisors. In this video, I'll be talking about um, one more indicator and that is called um, MACD. Okay, so it takes, um, it has three variables the first EMA, the slow EMA, and MACD SMA. So, and we'll apply um, our uh, this indicator to the close price. Okay, now let's. Um, make it uh, 12 uh, 26 and 9 and click ok so here you see this uh, this is called MACD indicator and now we are going to use uh, this indicator for our uh, for our trading and let me um, tell you something about this indicator first uh, about how you can use this uh, trading indicator for your trading so um, in this indicator you also have a zero level right here and you look for this zero level and when the MACD's price goes above its uh, zero level you place a buy trade and when it goes um, to below its zero level you place a sell trade okay so let's start writing our code so i have already made a new um, expert advisor and i called it macd and i have already created a boolean type function i called it macd and i have um, written that uh, predefined function which returns the um, <clears throat> the value of this indicator at a zeroth candle okay so i am writing that this particular code right here it will return uh, it will return us the value of macd indicator at this candle right here okay whatever the value is here okay so it has um, two values uh, one value is called the main value and the second value is called the signal value in this particular uh, tutorial I'll be using the main value um, but you can use uh, the signal value as well if you want to in your expert advisor so let's start writing our code um, let's create a variable and let's call it um, uh, something like ma and ma equals uh, to this function and it will return us uh, the value of this indicator at this uh, particular candle so it takes some arguments the first argument it takes is the symbol the second argument is uh, it takes is the um, uh, time frame and these three um, these three um, arguments are um, this the first EMA the slow EMA and the MACD SMA okay so will uh, will um, pass these values in here you can also create three variables and provide um, those variables as as an input for the user so he can um, change these values whatever he wants uh, them to be okay the next argument it takes uh, the price at which uh, with which you want to apply this indicator so I am applying this indicator to the close price so I have written this uh, price underscore uh, close okay the next 
<coughs> argument it takes is the uh, mod um, there are two mods for this indicator the one mod is called main and the second is called the signal okay I have told you already this is the main value the bars um, and this line here uh, is called the signal um, okay let me show you about that right here so here you can see when you drag over it it shows you the value of signal and the value of um, and the value of the main value okay so now let's start uh, let's write our function so what we are going to test here and uh, we are going to write a condition and, and we will check if uh, the indicators value is greater than um, zero will return true okay return true mm, like that okay and if the indicator value uh, indicators value is less than uh, zero will return false so whenever this function uh, when we'll call this function and if it returns true we'll place a buy order and if it returns false we'll place a sell order okay and the last um, condition will return an empty value because um, it must be there if it's not there uh, this particular function may not work properly so now we have created this uh, particular function for our MACD indicator and now we are going to use it in our star function let's create a boolean type variable here and let's call it check and check equals um, macd and now if check equals equals true open by and close cell same this thing is same as previous uh, videos so I think it won't be uh, difficult for you uh, to understand and if it uh, this function returns false um, we'll close any buy orders and we'll um, open sell orders sell order okay so this is all make sure you also write the orders total function um, to make sure there are only um, to make sure that it um, it has uh, it opens only one trade at a time and I think that's all for this tutorial and let's uh, dry run this for uh, for you so whenever this start function will be called when um, we when we will attach this expert advisor to the chart and when a new tick arrives um, here uh, this function will be executed and it will uh, create a variable and then it will assign this variable to this function it will call this function right here it will check the conditions based on those condition it will return true or false or it can send empty value if um, both of them are equal okay so <clears throat> right here as we can see the um, indicator value is greater than um, 0 so it will return true 
and the true value will be stored in this variable check and then it will check this this condition right here check equals true yes that's true it will close any um, sell orders and it will place a buy order okay so now you know how to use <coughs> this particular indicator which is called MACD and um, in next uh, video uh, maybe I'll talk about some more indicators and thank you for watching this tutorial see you next time